Welcome to Part of My Imagination. I'm Imagination and you're the Imaginers. Welcome if this is your first time. My name is Jasmine and welcome back if this is your second or third or however many times you've clicked on my channel. Welcome. Today I'm going to be doing the standalone books that I want to read in 2023. I only have five. If you haven't noticed throughout the series, I did the duology first, then I did the series, and then now I'm doing this one. I've only picked five books. These are five books that I want to focus on in each one of these lists. Not to saying that I'm not going to read outside of these lists, but these are just the ones that I'm focusing on. I don't know why I didn't specify that in the first video. But yeah, these are the ones that I'm just focusing on and saying that, hey, I really want to get to these because either they've been on my shelf for a really long time or whatever have you. So let's just get into those books. All right, the first book that I have is Descendant of the Crane by John Joanne He. And this book was kindly sent to me by the author, or excuse me, not the author, but the publishers. And this is by Fierce Reads, uh, published by Fierce Reads, excuse me. Um, if you watched in my last haul for 2023, um, I specifically talked about this book and how this is a republish um, because there were certain things that happened with the. Um, author so go ahead and support her if you can go ahead and pick this book up and read it um but all i know is that it is about a princess who uh, her father is and end, ends up dying or something um and she has to go ahead and pretty much save her kingdom from the downfall of her father dying and there's a broken system and all these other things and I'm so excited to get to it. This cover looks absolutely beautiful. And I just wanted to go ahead and throw this on my list because it has been on my to-read list for quite some time. Um, I did just get sent to, sent to me, so I just am excited to get to it. All right, the next book that I have is Firekeeper's Daughter, and this is by Angela Boley. Boley? Excuse me? This is something that has been on my radar for since 2021. It came out this year in 2020. Um, the only thing I hate about this book is that the sticker does not come off. It's embedded in this, but it is what it is. Um, but I do know that this is a Native American or an indigenous, excuse me. This is by an indigenous author. This is her debut novel. Um, but it's basically about this girl who just, just, just quite can't fit in. And she is trying to start off fresh going to college, but a tragedy happens and she has to pretty much come back home and try to help resolve the issues with this tragedy. That's really all I know about it. That's all I want to know. This cover is fabulous. Um, but I had looked at this on my shelf for quite some time and I just didn't pick it up. But I want to make it a note to go ahead and read this, especially because I want to take in more indigenous stories um, and by indigenous authors and just support indigenous authors because they are really underrepresented represented it. So yeah, I want to go ahead and pick this up. All right, the next book I have been eyeing for so long on my shelf since I got it. And that is the bone of Rune, the bones of rune by Sarah Ragley Ragley. I hope that this is a duology or not, not duology, but, um, what am I trying to say? F words. What am I trying to say? A standalone standalone. There we go. But this is just basically about an African-American typewrote type wrote dancer in Victor Victorian London. Iris is used to being strange. She is certainly a strange sight for a leering British audience when always eager for the spectacle of colonial curiosity. But Iris also has a secret that even strange doesn't capture. She cannot die. And that's all I need to know. But I'm like pretty positive that this is a standalone story. And this cover, like... I just, I just have to read it. I just have to read it and know because it's so beautiful. And I'm sure that this story is going to be beautiful. All right, the next book that I have is Eleanor by Jason Gurley. Gurley, excuse me. And this book has been on my shelf for so long. I got this from the dollar store. And I found this book. I seen this book on, um, oh, what's her name? What's her name? Reagan. I seen this book on Reagan's shelf and she had it point like point it out as like she was displaying it I don't know if that means I do I do know that she said that she loved this book excuse me I have no idea what it's about couldn't tell you right I couldn't tell you 
But I know that she picked it up and loved it. And that was a couple years ago. So I just wanted to go ahead and pick this up. Um, so Eleanor has been ripped out of time. Eleanor and Esmeralda are identical twins, inseparable until a terrible accident claims Esmeralda's life. Eleanor's family is left in tatters and Eleanor is forced to grow up quickly as she becomes the target of her mother's grief-filled rage. Years pass and Eleanor's painful reality begins to unravel in inexplicable ways. Again and again, against her will, she falls out of reality and into other ones, leaving behind empty rooms and worried loved ones. One fateful day, Eleanor is torn from her world altogether and meets a mysterious stranger who reveals to Eleanor the weight of her family's loss. Esmeralda Dustin was not, only, was not the only tragedy in her family's fragmented history, and unless Eleanor can master her extraordinary new abilities, it may not be the last. This raw and beautiful story about the, identity, the intensity of loss and complex relationships within families looks unflinchingly at how grief can make us strangers to ourselves and the unexpected way in which family can save us. Haunting and Beautiful Eleanor is a sweeping, genre-defying exploration of the power of love and loss, loyalty, and faith. Sounds wonderful. Sounds like everything that I need in a book. And it's about twins. And if you didn't know, I have twins. So I'm pretty excited about it. Of course, my cat. Every time. Every time I record, he just got to jump on the couch and ruin everything I got going on. So, yeah. All right. And last but certainly not least is an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green. A novel. I know. I haven't read it. I know. It's one of the best, whatever, debut cynic novels, yada, yada, yada. So it says, and it reads, because I don't really want to know much about this. I just know that this is some people's favorite books of all time or favorite book of all time. So I don't really want to know much going into it. So I'm just going to go ahead and read this little short snippet. In Hank Green's sweeping cinematic debut novel, a young woman becomes an overnight celebrity before realizing she's part of some bigger and stranger, some bigger, something bigger and stranger than anyone could have possibly imagined. And that's it. That's all I need to know. That's all I want to know. I know, again, this has been on my shelf for a really long time. I've had it for a couple of years now, at least since 2021. So this is going to be going on three years now, two years where well, I can't math, but I just need to go ahead and pick it up and uh, get on with my life and maybe I'll love it just as much as everybody else loves it. So again, these are all the standalones that I want to just focus in on and say, hey, I need to get these done. I need to read them. I want to focus in on some books on my shelf and then all the other books I can just go ahead and randomly pick and say, yeah, I want to read that. But these are the ones that I'm focusing on as far as standalones go and yeah. All right, that's all that I have for you guys today. Be sure to check out my description where you can find easy ways to contact me as well as all the books that I talked about. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if not, just imagine that you didn't come back again. Until next time, keep imagining.